The first classroom I ever went into as a role model, I was really nervous because uh, I had no idea what these uh, young people would say, how they would respond to me and my story. They were all strangers, I was a stranger to them. Um, and I think the first thing that is so obvious as you tell your story, they're completely silent. They were so, uh, they were just fascinated the fact that a, a, an adult was telling them something that was quite personal, which is rather unusual for them, I guess, because teachers can't say that sort of thing and very often parents don't describe their lives quite in the way that we were. Uh, so yeah, it was an eye opener and it was great. And it was, it was great that we did a number of uh, workshops throughout the day. So after the first one, you, you, know, you, you then get a bit more, more courage and experience and confidence, and then you can tell it again and again and again. And uh, yeah, it, was, it, was, it made me want to do more. My first experience in the classroom as a role model was amazing. I think it's the best school that I went, I've been into. Um, they had a LGBT group for the pupils. Um, the staff were really engaged and supportive. And the young people, I think that was the first, because I remember which school it was, and I think that was the only school where I think, I feel that the kids have been so involved and just really wanting to listen and wanting to engage and wanting to talk. You know, and afterwards one of them came up to me and said, Miss, my mum's getting married to a woman next year. And you know, like different pupils, you know, wanting to tell you little bits and pieces, yeah. So I'd been used to working with younger people, but I was quite nervous. Uh, and I was amazed how people listen to your story. Um, and somebody came up afterwards and said, thank you for coming in today. It's really made my day. The five of us that are gay in this school feel valued. And that still brings a lump to my throat now. So uh, yeah, that was the best thing. My first experience as a role model in a classroom was scary. I've not been, I don't work with children, so I've not been in a classroom. So having to deal with uh, five classrooms of 30 students in a day uh, was not only tiring, um, but also scary. But at the end of the day, I was so inspired by the response and the welcome that we got from the students. My first experience of role modelling in a secondary school was nerve-wracking. I was really scared. Um, I think teenagers can be really intimidating. <laughs> but, um, but it was also incredibly eye-opening. I, I was quite surprised also, actually, at how, how open the kids were to what we were about to talk about. But I could definitely see some of them struggling with it. So it was, it was interesting. I felt like I could observe, I was observing how the, the students were responding. And I was quite won over by them, actually. I was surprised at how well they were taking the, the learning that they were getting. Uh, and it's incredibly liberating. I felt really liberated as a person standing there, as a bisexual woman standing there and being myself and telling my story. And they're actually really seeing that they appreciated it and that they got from something from it. So it was very, very satisfying. But at first, like, nerve wracking, <laughs> definitely. My first experience in the classroom as a role model was pretty cool, actually. I'm, um, I was with a group that had done this many, many times before. Um, I do a lot of presenting in my line of work anyway. So whilst it is very different when it's with kids, I was kind of used to being you know, the one that everybody is looking at and just kind of went with the flow. The kids can be pretty easy, they'll pick up any nervousness, so have a bit of swagger and uh, crack on. <laughs>